Today we're going to talk about an ingredient that I think that everyone should consider having in their diet as well as in their skincare routine in 2023. Now, this particular ingredient or ingredients is so fantastic. It is so great for your skin and it will improve your skincare routine no matter what you are doing. It will boost the efficacy of everything else. And the biggest bonus is that it is super duper affordable. You get a lot of it for not very much money. What are we talking about? We are talking about fulvic acid. Now, if you are familiar with this channel, you know I've talked about fulvic acid in passing in so many videos because I truly, truly believe it is something worth considering in your routine. First of all, let me tell you that the one that I'm gonna recommend to you is by Morning Star Minerals. This is the Derma Boost Rejuvenating Spray Mist. The reason I'm recommending this one is because it is super affordable. You get eight ounces of it and it's just fulvic minerals and also reverse osmosis water. Very, very simple solution that has everything that you need in it and nothing that you don't need in it. Now, in the past, I have recommended the Hue Minerals. That's still a really great option. So if you either have that one or you've used it and you like it, that is a great recommendation still. I find that that one sells out some and it's more expensive. So when I started using this one a while back, quite a while back, I really kind of just switched to this one because it's so much more affordable and I like to really be liberal with my fulvic acid and I'll explain why. First of all, what is fulvic acid? Fulvic acid is basically when a plant decays, a bunch of other microorganisms kind of eat up the plant and you know, essentially it's the life cycle of a plant. It, de- it dies, it decays, and it goes back into the earth and it gets to be part of the soil. Now that soil, the degradation of those plants, any plants, and that soil and all of the processes with the organisms that are decaying that plant and that whole process produces fulvic and humic minerals. Fulvic acid is in that soil. So in the past, when our diets were different, long ago when there was more farming and we didn't have as processed of foods and we just had a different way of life, we were able to get a lot of the fulvic minerals, a lot of these nutrients from the soil in our diet easily. Well, practices have changed and a lot of us are deficient in a lot of those trace minerals. So fulvic acid is the decay, the humus in that soil of the plants of the earth that have just, it's just the life cycle and it's integral to our health internally and externally as well. There are like, I don't know, 70 trace minerals in fulvic acid. And what those trace minerals do is they actually help everything else to perform better internally and on your skin. They cross the membrane of the cell and help to assimilate other nutrients better. That's internally and also on your skin. Now I will say a caveat here is that I am not a nutritionist and you should definitely talk to your doctor before you start supplementing with anything, especially if you have an autoimmune disorder of any kind, you wanna talk to your doctor for sure. But I can tell you that I love to plant the seed for you to consider fulvic acid as a supplement because it is so, so good for you. It's an antioxidant, so it can help with free radical damage on the inside. It can help to help other nutrients work better, and it's an electrolyte. So that's really good for the overall hydration of your body, the performance of your vital organs. So fulvic acid actually helps your heart and your liver and all of your vital organs to work better when you supplement with it. The other thing that's cool about fulvic acid as a supplement is that internally it can help as an anti-inflammatory. So it can really help with skin conditions from the inside out like eczema and psoriasis. The other thing that it can help with internally is gut issues because it helps to promote a healthy microbiome in your gut, along with being anti-inflammatory, of course, and being this massive antioxidant and helping everything else to work better and perform better more optimally in your gut. So it means that some of these gut issues that people have Fulvic acid maybe might help to alleviate or just be a helpful addition to their supplementation. Now, if you don't want to supplement with fulvic acid, 
understand that completely. You can try to eat more food that is of the earth and not processed. So that's another way to get fulvic acid. Now, if you are deficient in something like magnesium, for example, which most of us are, then can, when you consume fulvic acid, whether it's in your diet by eating organic fruits and vegetables, or if you supplement with fulvic acid and then you eat foods rich in magnesium, you will gain a lot more benefit from those foods rich in magnesium than if you just ate those alone. So by incorporating the fulvic acid in, it's like it's like it puts those nutrients on you know another level as far as your body is concerned. Now, what about for skin? Because that's what we're here for, right? Well, first of all, I would argue that ingesting fulvic acid absolutely is helpful to your skin. Our skin is our biggest organ and everything that we ingest is going to, in some way or another, show up on our skin even if we don't recognize it because there's just no way that things don't manifest in our biggest organ when we take them internally. So there is that. But if we're talking about putting fulvic acid on our skin, what can it do for us? So what is something like this going to do for us? Well, number one, it is an anti-inflammatory. So we know that that is great. That's calming and that can help to prevent uh, rapid aging because inflammation is aging. Okay, so it can also help with brightening the skin. It can help to balance the microbiome of the skin. It is an antioxidant. So it helps with that free radical protection. And why that is so incredibly important is because we know that there is an onslaught of oxidative stresses that are after our cells all day and night long that is causing the degradation of our collagen and our elastin. Antioxidants to me are as important if not more important than all of the other things that we do in our skincare. It's just us needing to really wrap our mind around how important prevention and protection is versus us thinking we're going to go backwards and rewind time. We need to also be of the mindset that we want to protect where we are right now and help our skin be healthy and strong. And, you know, it's not all about, you know, getting rid of wrinkles and going backwards and looking 10 years younger. Some of it is holding our ground right now. And that is antioxidants, not to mention that they can boost the UV protection of our sunscreen and just protect us against, you know, pollution and environmental stressors, etc. Okay, the other thing, of course, is that it helps our other products to penetrate and work better. That is a big one because so many of the things that we use have a hard time getting across the barrier or they don't get across the barrier at all. Fulvic acid has the ability to get in. It's a small molecular size, cross over that cellular membrane, and it just helps other nutrients assimilate better. And honestly, I don't even completely understand the chemistry of it, but it does. I like to use my fulvic acid along with vitamins. So I like it most with my vitamin C's, and I especially like it with the derivatives that sometimes tend to be a little bit heavier. So I will literally spray my face, neck, chest, sometimes the back of my hands. I'll spray my hand once and then I will put my vitamin C, for example, or my astaxanthin or my green tea, anything like that, into the palm of my hand and I press it into the skin and I know that that fulvic acid, all of those trace minerals are gonna work synergistically with that vitamin to help it work better, help it do its job better, help it get in a little bit farther to the place where it needs to be so that it can affect change, so that it can brighten my skin, help with pigment inhibiting, it can help to fend off um, oxidative stresses, all of the things that we want our vitamin C and, you know, and our astaxanthin and our green tea to do, fulvic acid will help it do better. Okay, so the other thing about topical fulvic acid is that it's great for eczema, it is great for psoriasis. That's another reason why I highly suggest a big bottle that is less expensive. You don't need to overpay and get a smaller bottle for four times as much because you wanna be able to be liberal with it. You can use this on your scalp, you can use it everywhere that you want to. I think a great one-two punch after you've talked to your doctor is supplementing with fulvic acid or at least 
least looking for organic fruits and vegetables that will be rich in fulvic acid and then also using it as a topical. If you have somebody in your life who has eczema or has psoriasis, you want to let them know about fulvic acid so that they can research it and talk to their doctor. I could sing the praises of this all day long. This little mist that just seems like, oh, it's a mist. It's a spray of watery substance that I mix with my stuff. It seems unnecessary or like it's extra. And I am telling you, it's not. This is one of those things that's underhyped, that should be more hyped because it's so affordable. It's so easy to add into your routine. Let me know if you have tried this one or if there's others that you have tried that you would recommend. I would love to hear about it in the comment section. More and more brands are coming out with fulvic acid and it's exciting to see because it's such a great ingredient. I've been using it for years now and I'm super excited to see it more and more because I truly think it can change the skin health, uh, our skin health, and it can really, really help with us internally. Now, don't expect to use fulvic acid and wake up with some different face, okay? It's just one of those things that's going to help boost the efficacy of the other things that you're using, and it's going to lend to your skin health. So it isn't going to do the dishes, it's not going to take the garbage out, and it's not going to babysit your kids, but it's really, really a great thing to add into your routine, both your nutritional routine and your topical routine. Team. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a really wonderful day. Let me know what you know about fulvic acid and let me know if you have any recommendations for me to try. I'm happy. I'm all ears and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.